Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and in this video I'm going to review a movie that I saw last night, um, because today is the day I review movies, and that movie, of course, is Silver Linings Playbook. Now, I'm sure me, just like everybody else, was really looking forward to this. I heard so many great things about it, and I just couldn't wait to see it. It looked so great. I mean, the cast looked great, the story looked great, and I have to say... It did not disappoint. It is one of my favorite films of 2012. It is just amazing. Um, now, some people compare it to The Perks of Being a Wallflower. It is nothing like The Perks of Being a Wallflower, honestly. The Perks of Being a Wallflower was about a boy who had a secret hidden in him. He was a social outcast. But this is a completely different story. This story follows Pat, who, he's lost everything. His house, his job, his wife, and he's just being released from a mental institution. He's been there for probably a lot, uh, like, most of his life. Um, and he's now living with his family, Robert De Niro and Jackie Weaver. Um, and um, he's trying to re um, rekindle with his wife, but his wife wants absolutely nothing to do with him because something went on between the two of them. You don't really know what happened. The movie doesn't really explain anything to you. It explains things that's going on. But you don't really know what happened between him and his wife. Um, and he just wants to try to start over and try to be, find a silver lining because he has bipolar disorder, and he tries to find a silver lining in everything, and along the way he meets Tiffany, who is pretty much, I'd say, a sex addict. Um, she has just, she is now, um, is it divorce? No. No, she, her, um, she is now, um, a widower whose husband has died, and the two try to find a silver lining to their to um to themselves. And uh, along the way, uh, Robert De Niro likes on um, this uh, football game. The reason it's called Silver Lines Playbook is because, well, I'll just have to explain to you. But overall, I love Silver Lines Playbook. Let's now get into the performances. I thought Bradley Cooper was definitely really really good in this. Like he showed some really big scenes. There are some big scenes with him with bipolar disorder, it's amazing to watch, and it's not hard to watch because Jackie Weaver and Robert De Niro, I mean, Jackie Weaver's really the comedic part of this movie. She has some very funny lines. Um, like, for example, when Bradley Cooper is trying to have a conversation with his parents and she's like, it's four o'clock in the morning. I want to go back to sleep. That was funny. Uh, Robert De Niro is also funny. He kind of shows some OCD tendencies, but yeah. Uh, Bradley Cooper was great. I definitely think he deserves that Oscar nomination that he got, but the best one, in my opinion, was Jennifer Lawrence. Whenever she was on screen, she was incredible. She definitely deserves that Best Actress nomination that she got because she is incredible in this. She is just... Um, just she's just so great in this and she's such a great actress i mean i've loved jennifer lawrence ever since x-men first class i've loved her ever since then and she just gave such a great performance in this it's definitely her best performance um so yeah i really loved her in this and then we have robert de niro who was also really great i really felt like he should have won for the best supporting actor at the oscar because he did a great job in here i mean he has again he has some ocd tendencies like he wants the remotes lined up a certain way um, because he's the one who's always into football. He wants these um, the Eagles to win, and I think you know he wants the Eagles to win. Bradley Cooper wants the Eagles to win. Jennifer Lawrence is actually in this dance contest and wants Bradley Cooper to uh, be in the dance contest. And Jackie Weaver, as I said, kind of provides some. Um, 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 I can't talk. She kind of provides some. Humor to the movie, well, she also provides emotion. All of them do. All of them provide humor and emotion. And Chris Tucker, who I absolutely love. I prefer him over Chris Rock, because I love the Rush Hour movies. I thought he was great, too. Chris Tucker was really great. Definitely a different part for him. So now we're going to get into some big, big, big spoilers. So if you haven't seen Silver Lines Playbook, I really recommend you don't um, listen to the rest of this review, because there are going to be some major spoilers here. So the first thing I want to talk about is what exactly happened to him and his wife when he basically almost killed um, the person her, um, his wife was taking a shower with. 
that was incredible to see. I didn't expect that. Um, and I thought it was going to be more like a, fla a longer flashback, but really we didn't, we didn't have to see that. It really was something we could just see in our minds. Like we had to see what happened like visually, but we didn't see the whole thing visually. Most of it he explained to us, and I thought that was pretty cool. I also thought uh, uh, Tiffany's storyline was pretty cool with her husband and her being a sex addict and how she had sex with him, with everyone when in, in her job. And I just thought that was pretty amazing. Also, their outbursts were great, too. And then the chemistry. Um, the dance contest scene is the big scene. And the dance contest scene I loved. Even though they get a 5.0, they still do. Um, they're still happy about it because uh, Robert Dino promised Bradley Cooper that if they get, that if they get a 5.0 in their dance contest, then um, I don't remember what it was, what the bet was. They have to get a 5.0 in their dance contest. I don't remember what the bet was exactly, but... They have to do with that. And they get a 5.0. And it, even though that's not the best score, that's what the Eagles got. So pretty much if they get a 5.0, they'll be happy. Because uh, then Bradley Cooper said that's what the Eagles got. But then we have the scene. Now this scene, I thought the only part I didn't like was the ending. The ending was a little abrupt. I Tiffany leaves and then they get together and I really wanted them to get together but I thought the scene with her leaving was completely unnecessary and him like reuniting with his wife was really unnecessary in my opinion but yeah that's all I want to talk about so overall I love Silver Lines Playbook I thought it was really great one of my favorite films of 2012 for sure so that's it for my review Silver Lines Playbook that I uh, hope you enjoyed this video my next review will be my review of Big Bang Theory. So see you then. Bye.